If you're new to our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. Hey y'all, welcome to another episode of Design Cafe Guides, a segment where we focus on all things Gyan with respect to home interiors. Brought to you by yours truly, Ananya Joey. Now we have all dreamed of owning stylish wardrobes just like the celebrities do. Who wouldn't want something that would look straight out of a magazine? Nowadays, you can have wardrobes in different styles and varieties which can fit your personality and your bedroom space. Well, here's a quick and easy guide to help you with all things wardrobe related. Let's quickly dive into it and see what it's all about. Now, if you're wondering what are the different styles of wardrobes and how to design that ideal wardrobe for your home, well, I'm here at our Bengaluru Experience Center where we have a range of wardrobes set up just for you to take a look. So let's quickly dive into this walkthrough. And if you're new to our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. Add a his and her wardrobe section. Now in most wardrobes, especially the master bedrooms, uh, there is always enough space for multiple different sections which can be designated for you and your partner. So divide your large wardrobe into two parts and equally uh, decide what goes best in each of these spaces to fit your requirements. Now here we've divided this wardrobe into three sections with this side being for the lady of the house and the other side being for the man of the house and the centre is a common area. So large compartments like these are perfect for gowns or any large dresses to be hung straight away. There are also multiple shelves to keep other organised items so that there is no dearth of space. Now this portion we've given lots of drawers and this is a great option when you're designing uh, wardrobes for older couples. When you have drawers below your waist level, this is the easiest way to reach down without bending or at the end of the shelf. This compartment being for the man of the house, we've added a uh, accessory drawer. This is great to display all your watches, ties, wallets, etc. There are also some shelf units and drawer units for you to keep your trousers, shirts, etc. Now corners are one of the most neglected space in every home. Now not every bedroom would have a corner wardrobe but if yours does, it could be quite tricky and you need to make sure that you are using the space to its fullest. Now there are a range of accessories available for a corner wardrobe but the most simplest and the basic way to do this is to go for either an L or an I corner. Now here's an L corner wardrobe. Now in wardrobes like these, it is plain and simple with shelves and hanger rods. But this is the best way to use the maximum space without having any dead corners where you can reach every part of this wardrobe. Now a slight variation to this L corner would be an I corner which we have right here. Now if you have some sort of a space crunch then you would have to go for this one where there's a slight dead end at the end where you can't reach out to all your accessories and your clothes but this is also a great way to make sure that your L corner is used to its fullest. Adding necessary compartments. Now if the wardrobe is for a rental property or a guest bedroom, you can stick to plain and simple shelves. But if the wardrobe is for your own self, then there are a range of accessories for you to choose from. Now the idea is to go for a range of compartments that are different from the regular standards. It could be a pull-out trouser rack or a pivoting hanger rod or a pull-out iron boat or even an accessory pull-out rack. All of these and more options are available for accessories for every wardrobe. Set the mood with the right kind of lighting. Now wardrobes have a lot of scope to play with different kinds of light. You can go for a spotlight or a strip light uh, in the corner or even your hanger rods to make sure that the inside of your wardrobe is well lit. 
You can do this if you lack natural light in your wardrobe areas. Dresser units are a part of the wardrobe. Now, if you have a space crunch, you can always go for one of the shutters to be a mirror. But if you have space, you can go for a full-fledged dresser unit. Now, you can also ask your designer to suggest some space-saving options like the ones that we have here. Well, this here is a very sleek dresser unit which can be tucked away in the smallest of the spaces. It comes with a lot of storage and an entire floor-to-length mirror. Now, if you have a column or any sort of projection and a limitation in the depth of your space, then you can always go for a unit like this, which is great again with a nice full length mirror and lots of storage for all your items right behind the mirror. The most important thing while choosing or designing your wardrobe is to identify what material and finishes to go for. Now the idea is to make sure that your wardrobe can hold a lot of things and look stunning at the same time and also durable. Now most interior designers would either recommend MDF, HDF or plywood for your base material for your wardrobe. Now all of these are absolutely fit and durable for wardrobes so you can go for any of these depending on your budget. Now, on the other hand, the list of finishes for wardrobe is never-ending. There are so many options. You can start with something basic like uh, laminates, which either comes in matte or glossy and even solid or wooden shape. Now, you, if you have the budget for it, you can also go for a premium finish. Uh, it could be acrylic, lacquered glass, uh, PU or even veneer. Now, if you do not know the difference between a basic finish and premium finish, you can always watch our video, which is linked right here. Uh, it's called Laminate versus Acrylic Finish. Getting a new wardrobe does not mean burning a hole in your pocket. There are several options these days for every range and budget. We hope this video helped you to pick the most suitable wardrobe for your home. If you found this video helpful, do let us know by giving us a thumbs up and also leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Now, if you're looking for home interiors, you can always leave your details in the form that is in the description box below and we'll get back to you with a free design consultation. Until next time, take care, see you all.